Moving on to number three, ladies. This is five habit. Why, <laughs> why am I spitting at the camera? Like, okay, calm down, calm down. I know you're excited. Whew, I get so excited when I talk to you, ladies. It's like a release. You got hey, best friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's Juicy Girl Talk video, I'm gonna be telling you, ladies, five habits you seriously need to leave behind in 2021 if you guys want to have a level up, glow up, the best year of your life in 2022 then you have to leave this ish alone okay it's holding you back if you're new to my channel welcome to the bella gang don't forget to like comment and subscribe bella gang we are almost at 1 million subscribers literally it brings tears to my eyes like i don't even want to go deep into that but let me just say thank you in advance for for the million we're so close please share this video um like i said before i i'm a cancer before i start crying and all these water works and telling you guys how much i love you let's let's stick to the topic okay five habits you need to leave behind in order for you to have the best year ever okay let's get into it i love you once again thank you so much a million subscribers be on the way Boom. Okay, best friends. So coming in at number one, this is what you seriously need to leave behind in 2021. And that is lurking on your ex-friends. Yes, friends. Lurking on your ex-friends and your ex-boyfriends, sneaky link, whoever the hell he was to you. Lurking on their page. Sis, stop doing that. You know, I don't know about you ladies, okay? Because let me just say, any advice I give you guys is because I've been there, done that, and I don't want you to experience the same shit I've been through. Ooh, excuse my French, but you know what I mean. Um, I can be having, I don't know about you ladies, but I can be having the best day of my life. And then for some reason, I just get the urge to like lurk on the old friend's page or at my ex's page. And then now I have a whole ass bad day, whole day ruined because it's like, just the sight of them just gets you mad. It just brings up old feelings. You're still upset, you know. And the thing, and the, and the th crazy thing about it is, you know, lurking on someone's page is do it does more damage to you than good. Sometimes we go on, we, the reason why we lurk in the first place is not because we want the person, but just out of curiosity, you probably wonder how they're doing. But sis, if you go on your ex's page and you see him post his new girlfriend. That's going to mess with your mental health. Now you're going to go back with those. You're going to you're gonna revisit those feelings of being hurt and feeling betrayed. Now you're going to feel stupid. Now you're going to go on your fake page. And you're gonna, it's going to give you the urge to go on your fake page and comment some nasty crap that you shouldn't, you know, comment under the picture. And then you're going to go tell you, you're going to go on a group chat, send your, um, your friends, you know, his, his new girlfriend. Why? Okay. And let me tell you this right now. Nine times out of ten, your mother, your sisters, your friends, they're tired of you talking about your ex. They're tired of you talking about your old friends. Who cares? Yes, we all know that they played you, that they hurt you. What you going to do about it? Lurking on their page is not going to make you help you get over them. I mean, and sometimes in some cases that works. Like, there's been times where I will lurk on my ex's page until one day I stop searching his name on the... um you know, the Instagram search bar. That's how I know personally when I get over someone, like when I don't have to lurk on your page anymore. But nine times out of 10, you know, um, nothing good, ever good comes from lurking on your ex's page. And um, I and I mentioned friends because let's be honest, like we all lurk on our ex friends pages, you know, just to, you know, just to see. That's something that you don't want to do either because especially if, you know, um, you guys are not friends for a reason. Sometimes when we lurk on our old friends page, you know, we have the not all it's not always bad memories that, you know, come up. You also you, you also start thinking about the good memories, the good times you had. I done had so much good times with some with friends I would with people I would never be friends with or cool with again. You know, sometimes you know how Facebook and Snapchat is. They remind you of, you know, what you was doing a year ago and, you know, maybe, you know, they pop a memory of you two pop up and then it makes you want to lurk on their page and you start reminiscing and then like a little you know a little uh devil come on your shoulder like you know maybe you should message her and see how she's doing but let me just tell you right now there's a reason why you had a fallout with that friend there's a reason why you and your ex did not work out okay which brings me to number two do not do this okay in 2022 i promise you nothing good is gonna come 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 out of it so number two comes hand goes hand in hand with number one and it is reconnecting with your past loves now as i mentioned sometimes lurking brings up old feelings maybe you might not hate them you might miss them but understand you know 
you, 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 um, you guys are no longer speaking. You guys are on bad terms for a reason. Ladies, anytime, I'm telling you this right now, anytime I reconnected with an ex sneaky link, a guy I used to date, my first love, whoever it was, I always regret it. I always regret it. Like maybe the first two weeks, you know, you get excited, like you guys are reconnecting again. And then soon after you realize why you guys fell off. I don't know about you ladies, but anytime I fall out with a friend or, or a guy I used to date, the feeling is never the same. Cause it's like, yeah, you know, you're making me laugh and stuff, but I still, I still can't get over the fact that you cheated on me. Like, ah, you, you don't even deserve my friendship. What am I doing? Like I've had, you know, I have to snap out of it at times because I'm a cancer. One thing that we are, cancers are notorious for is going back to their exes. Cancers are always reconnecting with people from their past, their exes, because to be honest, well, that's pretty much all the water signs. To be honest, we do this because we don't like starting over. We don't want to give our body away to someone else. But sis, I'm here to tell you, you're gonna, it's going to be just a revolving door. You're going to go from one ex to another ex. And next you know, we're going to be like 40 years old. And you, you, know, you haven't even met the love of your life because you're entertaining people from your past. If they didn't get it right the first time, what makes you think they're going to get it right again? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Remember that, okay? Um, moving on to number three, ladies, this is five habits. Why, <laughs> why am I spitting at the camera? Like, okay, calm down, calm down. I know you're excited. Whew, I get so excited when I talk to you ladies. It's like a release. You guys, you, you guys always talking about my videos help you. No, it's very therapeutic when I can let, you know, when I can talk about things that have happened to me too. Like, I just, I don't know. It does something for both of us. Okay. Um, number three, five habits you need to leave in 2021 to be that girl okay number three is i know it sounds cliche you probably don't want to hear it but let me tell you ladies unhealthy eating leave that ish behind and the reason why i say unhealthy eating to leave it behind is number one if you suffer from depression anxiety high stress do you know that consuming junk food, fried foods, meat, and dairy triggers, literally triggers depression and anxiety? You over here don't, you, you over here stressing and being depressed and you feel like, damn, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. Like nothing in my life is really that bad. Why am I feeling like this? Your body feels sluggish because the food that you're eating, okay? And on top of that, a lot of you guys say, girl, you 31. How are you 31? You, you look like you're in your 20s. It's because your girl, you know, I changed my eating habits. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I done gained 28 pounds. If I sit up and show you this food, you're going to be like, girl. that I'm." So let me just say, number three goes for me, too, okay? I'm not exempt. I fell off, okay, I, I'm, I reached my goal weight of 140. I went from 190 to 140. And then I stopped drinking Ayaso tea. I stopped, I started eating dairy and meat again, which was a no-no. And then I, that's how I gained my weight. But don't worry, um, I just ordered my Ayaso tea. I'm gonna leave the, the uh, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the link for you in the description box below. This is not sponsored. Anybody who knows me, okay, anybody in my in, my, in real life and on the internet, y'all know why I go so hard for the Ayaso tea. For me personally, when I drank it five days in a row, I, I lose six or seven pounds. Literally, I started this week. My arms got smaller. Like, that tea is everything. But you also have to eat clean with it in order for it to really work. But that's neither here or there. Um, if, if your goal for the new year is to lose weight, to stick to it, stop with the diets. Diets do not work. One thing about diets, yes, you're going to lose weight, but you're going to gain it back. Um, you have to be committed to a lifestyle. I know that also sounds cliche. Everybody always say, don't diet, you know, it's, it's part of a lifestyle. But I'm here to tell you, you have to ch change your eating habits for life. If you don't want to, if you don't want your weight to go up and down like it has for me, then you have to stop with the yo-yo dieting, okay? Like I said, you're going to lose the weight, but you're going to gain it back. I lost the weight when I drank Ayaso tea, but I gained it right back when I started eating bad. So let me just leave you with this. 2022, 80% of what you eat is clean, plant-based, no meat, no dairy. And then 20% of the time, then if you're really craving meat, okay, once in a while. And, you know, don't deprive yourself. If you want Taco Bell, you want McDonald's, eat that burger. Because let me tell you, it's been two. Yeah, I gained like 20 pounds. You guys don't really see it. Okay, yeah, I gained 20 pounds. But I don't look nearly how I did when, you know, when I consumed dairy meat and then drink Ayaso tea. All right. And that's because 80% of the time till this day, I eat clean 80% and then 20% I eat what the hell I want. All right. Because the thing is, when you cut out every single, uh, when you cut out an entire food group, 
what's going to happen is one day you're going to crack and you're going to just eat uh, McDonald's. And then next you know what you're going to be like, well, I ate McDonald's two days in a row. So let me just give up on this dieting stuff. No, don't do that. Monday through Friday, eat, eat clean. And then Saturday, not Saturday and Sunday, Saturday have um, a, a, a cheat meal of your choice. And then, Mon and then Monday through, I'm sorry, and then Sunday through Friday, you repeat. You eat clean and then you eat whatever junk food you want. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to change your life. If you eat clean, you're no longer going to feel depressed and anxiety. You might still feel, anxiety never goes away. Let's be honest, it's a lifelong thing. But I'm telling you, you're going to have way more good days than bad days. You're going to feel good about yourself. The weight is going to come off. You know, one thing about me, people always say, how did you do it? I literally just watch all my what I eat in a day videos. I eat like that. And then I eat what I want on the weekends, you know, and that's it. Or if you don't want to wait for the weekends, you can have just, you know, be in a calorie deficit. Okay. Multiply your body weight times 10 minus 12. And instead of eating a whole donut, maybe you can eat, you know, eat clean during the day and at night time and at nighttime or whatever, you want a donut, just eat half of it. Okay. Like I said, don't deprive yourself, make it a lifestyle. And before you know it, you're, you're going to always, you're going to naturally want to eat clean. Okay. I'm telling you this right now. If you want to look like, like you in your twenties for the next 20 years, you got to start taking care of your body from now, period. Let's move on to number four. Five habits you need to leave in 2021 in order to become that girl. Number four is not following through your goals. So if you said 2021 is going to be my year, I'm going to do this and that. And then you notice, okay, you notice like, damn, I didn't do anything I said I was going to do for the new year. Sis, you know what that means, right? You got to buckle down. You got to focus up. You got to get that discipline. I know you probably like, you know, I, my, my dream is to have a book or my dream is to, you know, have my own salon or whatever, whatever it is. The reason why um, you haven't achieved that goal yet is because sometimes our dream is so big that we don't even know where to start. A lot of you guys say, I want to do this and that, but I don't know where to start. It's baby steps. Okay. Let's say, for example, let's say your dream is to have your own book, right? Okay, so even if you don't know how to publish the book yet and all that fine stuff, the business side, every day start writing a page. Start with the title, then the table of contents. Then, you know, go on um, Google Documents and actually write the whole book. Once you have the product, now you can go on, on Google, get your research done on how to get my book pub published, follow those steps. And like I said in my other videos, and I'm going to say it again, once God sees that you're trying, he's going to do the rest. Because I didn't know how to do YouTube. My sister's boyfriend actually set up my YouTube channel. If someone told me right now, can you, make, can you um, um, sign up for YouTube for me? I, I can't help you. I still don't know how to do my YouTube channel. And I still record my videos on my iPhone because I don't know how to edit on a MacBook. And I have a whole MacBook and I have a camera. But, you know, if something's not broken, why well, fix it, right? I mean, eventually I might learn. But for the most part, I'm telling you guys this because I wanted a YouTube, uh, to a YouTube channel and I made no excuses. I just figured out a way. If you have a will for something, you're going to have, you're going to make a way for it. So, right, I'm telling you right now, nobody feels sorry for you. Work harder, you know, put that work in and, you know, start baby steps. And before you know it, you're going to achieve your goals. You, I believe in you. I believe in you. If nobody else is believing you, best friend, I believe in you, okay? Kisses and hugs. <laughs> I'm so extra. I love y'all. I really do. Let's move on to our fifth and final habit you need to leave in 2021. Number five is, cannot stress this enough, ladies, pointless situationships, okay? Um, you're probably like, what, what do you mean by pointless situationship? Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory, ladies. Uh, if you, let's say you're dealing with somebody right now, right? Currently, right now. If you notice that he's not trying to, you know, make you his girl and, you know, it's really nothing but sex and it's not really going nowhere. Unless you, if you're not, unless you're not looking for a relationship, if you're not looking to get married or in a relationship, go ahead with your sneaky link. I'm not talking about you, but to all my ladies who's, you know, um, you know, serious about marriage and commitment and probably in the thirties club like me. And you really want to, um, you know, find somebody that's going to take you serious, get rid of the clown. Okay. Because what happens is if you don't get rid of, uh, men who, um, don't add value to your life, guess who's going to be the second clown? You, 
You, it's gonna be two clowns dating, okay? You know your work, baby girl. Don't do that. You watch too many of my videos. You already know um, if a guy is using you. I done have to, over 250 videos on how do you know if a guy really likes you or not. Sis, don't be stupid. Don't let that eggplant turn you stupid. You ain't stupid, okay? Know your worth and add tax to it 2022. We're not settling for the bare minimum. No, ma'am. I pray against the bare minimum in the name of Jesus, okay? And that goes for me too. Do you know how hard it was for me to block every dude in my phone and exes and stuff like that that I used to entertain from time to time? You know, I done broke my celibacy like two or three times this year. I'm disappointed in me because I used to have so much willpower. But you know, when you go six, seven months and you don't got it, that's why, you know, anytime my ex, now, anytime my exes or any guy I used to date come back, try to come back in my life, you know, I, you know, I, I always, I always say, I always, I just don't answer them. I block them. You know what I'm saying? If sis, if you don't have the willpower, if you really want to get it in, go. It's better to just get a toy. Just remember, remember why you blocking these people. Remember why you you know you can no longer accept them in your life. Okay, because I'm telling you, if you if you fold and you allow these men in your life, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt. You know, no guy is worth your kitty cat, especially if it's good. Okay, especially if it's good. Like, you know, you're not a rag doll. You're not a sex object. And, you know, you deserve better. So 2022, make room for the right man for you. But if you keep if you keep entertaining the past, you will never find a, a husband in your in the present. You you're not. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much my video, you guys, on five five habits to leave behind in order to have a prosperous 2022 i hope you guys find this video um entertaining i don't know why i'm having sudden brain fog but i love you guys so much comment below whatever else girl talk topics you want me to do and i got you love you so much Mwah.